Hey guys, my name is Maria and thank you so much for watching this video. So I wanted to create something more relaxing, something where I actually talk while I'm painting so I can guide you through. And it's really important that um, you don't stress about anything here because uh, blooms are okay, hard edges are okay, uh, just uh, we're gonna paint actually wet on dry which is much easier than wet on wet. It's important to think about the process of how we're going to paint it, to visualize all the steps because that always helps and then you know what you're gonna be doing. I really want you to relax so take a deep breath and uh, maybe make sure your feet are touching the ground and you're sitting comfortably in your chair. Just remember this is just a paper so you can always flip it and just paint on the back of it and that's fine too. What we're gonna do is we're going to start from the top we're going to apply the blues and I don't use that many colors uh, basically two sheets of blue two sheets of pink technically red and then we have a yellow and green so almost like primary colors because you can also create your own green by mixing blue with the yellow we're gonna start with the blues and then we're gonna mix in some of the red in there so the pink in my case and then as we are somewhere in this area that's where we start adding more water a little bit more water to make this part a little cleaner and then we're on to those flowers so i call them lavender flowers <laughs> however um, they're not as purple <laughs> But uh, this is where I applied part of it like wet on wet because I already wetted a little bit of this part of the background and then I started adding the shades of purple and then uh, we can splatter some water and paint too so for more like a magical effect and that's it it's a quick painting so it's really important that you don't over really think it so don't overthink it just go with the flow Follow that brush stroke, watch what's happening on the paper, and take a deep breath because it's just a paper. You want to start with diluting your colors with water. So your colors are kind of looking like this. You just dilute it to a consistency of milk-like ratio. And then as you're applying colors towards the paper, you have some water on it too. We're going to paint it wet on dry. So we're not going to pre-wet the paper. So... Go ahead and grab a flat brush. This is a softer brush. And I'm going to start from the top. Once we get towards the lavender flowers, we're going to do some dry brushing too. So I'm going to dip my brush in water to make sure it's wet. And then I'm going to grab some of that cobalt blue with a bottle of blue. And there's some of that uh, quinacridone red, so red and pink, the Oprah. And once I feel like I have enough of that, let's say water like ratio almost, then I'm gonna apply this color towards the paper. So I need more water. I'm gonna grab more water here, add it to my paint, and I'll keep going down. So keep going down. You can also go back towards the top if let's say you wanna add more purple or you wanna add more blue, which is what I just did. And then I'm going back towards the bottom here. Now I want a little more red. More reds, back to the water, grabbing a little bit of water. And I'm cleaning my brush, wiping it slightly on a towel and just the water. Now it's just a clean brush, it's a damp brush. So, so you want to make sure you wipe your brush on a towel. And then water again, just a water, damp brush. And I'm kind of going back a little bit here just to make sure it's all even. I had a little bit of that paint I picked up, but this is where I want to start adding the lavender colors. So what I'm gonna do is grab a quill brush, size two, and I'm going to dilute some of these colors more with water. This is my pinks, those two pinks I have with a cobalt blue and follow blue. And then you can splatter some of that paint towards the background too. For that lavender. And then back to that well, grabbing the blues for the purples. And you start building that lavender. If you want it to be a little more pink, 
just grab more pink or red that you're using. And here is where paper is dry. So I'm gonna start dry brushing. But I want to mix my colors as I continue adding them towards the paper. You wanna change the ratio of colors so you don't need to have the same color mix. Plus I want a little more water. A little more water. And I'm kind of like dry brushing. So this is more like dry brushing. I removed some of that water from my brush. But this is where I want my lavender to show more. And I can go back here. I can add a little more color if I want it to be a little more purple, for example. So mix some more of the pink with the blue. This is where we have all the lavender, more of the blue. If I want more bluish, I just need to add more blue to my color mix. And just kind of dry brush. I use the side of my brush just to kind of drag, drag, drag it across the paper. But that's what dry brushing really is. And I clean my brush, I'm cleaning my brush, and I'm going to grab some of this yellow ochre now and now the same thing kind of connecting it with that lavender color and dry brushing dry brush and then going up a little bit slightly I kind of like using the side of my brush to do this and now it's time to add some green but I need to have a little more water I'm painting on a dry paper so you need a, way more water when you do that so now I have some greens. If I want to add another shade of green, I just need to drag some of the green towards my blue. And then I create another shade of green, kind of like an aqua green. And then you can add it a little bit from the top. You can also drag your brush up towards the top. Kind of drag it up a bit, as this is the grass, right? And now I'm gonna clean my brush. I'll see if I can splatter a little bit of water. So I'm gonna grab a stiffer brush. This is my mini mop. I'm gonna splatter water, just water. I'm kind of rubbing it off my finger like this, just to add some water. And it would be nice to add it towards the background, the sky, but I think I missed out on that timing. So it's a little too late, but it will show over here, over this lavender. And then you can go a little lower towards the grass as well. So if you do find that timing at the beginning, you can also splatter water towards the sky. So I'm going to remove the washi tape. And thank you so much, guys. I hope this video was pretty relaxing for you.